What does this ant stuff do? Uh, wait. Okay. One, plus one agility, minus one charisma. And nothing on the helmet. All right. We'll probably hang on to that stuff just because it's a novelty. <laughs> I know, you guys... Uh, all right. Y'all want to see me in this, don't you? It'll never happen again. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I'm the Bearded OG, and we are going to take off and <laughs> uh, go do some more adventuring. Um, if you didn't catch the last episode, we left off here at the Regulator's Headquarters. We are now officially a bounty hunter, and we have our first bounty to go collect, which is more or less in the direction that we want to go. And so, yeah, the plan is for us to go to Canterbury Commons, Temple of the Union, and then our bounty uh, is up here at this place called Powerline Tent. So uh, let's go ahead and head over to Canterbury Commons first, and then we'll just see how far we get um, in this episode. Uh, let's see. We got our stuff on. Yeah, I'm going to put my regulator hat on for the extra crit chance and let's head over to Canterbury and see what's going on over there oh shit that Yao Guai is coming right at us alright so we have a caution That was scary. Uh, did I just see another one over there? No, I guess not. Oh, there is one over there. Okay. Let's get up on this... Uh, Overpass here if we can. So we can get a little height, then we'll we'll take that one out too with our sniper rifle. Alright, we still have a caution. What's that flashing down there? That looks like a, a pro protectron and a scorpion. All right. Um, while we're up here, let's go see if there's any bad bads around here there's a 10 millimeter pistol looking to see if there's any frag mines in here oh nice Ch Chinese army spec I think that's sneak Police baton. We'll take a couple of antiseptics. Okay. Oh. No! Ouch! <laughs> God, that's bad. Oh. Wow. 
Uh. It's terrible. Oh my god. Uh had a premonition <laughs> that I fell off an overpass and absolutely obliterated both my legs. Uh didn't have a I didn't have a good dream last night. Bad dream. Uh but it's made me a hell of a lot more cautious and careful as we set out today to do our thing. Holy shit. Okay. In my premonition. There was a Yao Guai that attacked us, a brain bot, and another Yao Guai over that way. So, yeah. We've got to be really careful. Okay, there's the Yao Guai right there. Um, oh. Okay, he just went after the brain bot. Uh, I like the idea of getting back up here so we're up high. We just got to make sure we don't jump off the ledge this time. Okay, so that Yaokawai is still over there. Oh, geez, there's one over there, too. Is I don't even know if I'm oh shit, there's two down there. These guys are all over the place. I don't think I I don't think I killed that one. Is it just out of range? No, we got it that time. Okay. Wasted a bunch of ammo. But man, I don't want these things jumping me. Can we, uh, okay, carefully get on the ledge. These things are scary fast, man. No, I can't even see it. There we go. It's down. All right, we still have we still have danger. Let's go back up here and grab this stuff again. Got the ten mil pistol, the magazine, and the antiseptics. I don't think there was anything else in here. Yeah, we'll take the darts too. Okay, now over on this side. There okay, here's there's the yoke. Hello? Who's there? I guess it was nothing. Are they? I guess it was nothing. Aha! Oh! Okay, I guess they're below us. Uh, where'd that Yagoi go? He's right there. Okay, we got him out of the way. Can't believe how many enemies there are around here. Goodness gracious. Okay, can we just... Do that? Oh, those are talons. Shit. Of course, they would have to show up right about now. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay, I don't want to get too close to the edge. <laughs> we know, we know how that is. Oh shit! There's a giant scorp over there too. 
Wait, where did I see him? Oh my god, that thing's huge. Yeah, there's nobody here anymore. Maybe that scorpion will... God, look how big that thing is. Oh. That, uh... There's something else moving over there, too. Oh, it's a mole rat. And a bandit. Or... Raider, rather. Man, this place is hot. Okay, we know there's still some talon down there. It looks like... Um... No, that's a branch. I thought that was a pair of legs. Okay, here's an enemy here. He moved right as I pulled the trigger. Oh, the Yao is gonna... Okay, we got the raider. It's also a giant ant. And I think that scorpion's still around too. Wait, who are you going after? Okay, we got him. So the Talon's fighting the Raiders, I guess. Uh. Okay, he's down. Can't believe how big that scorpion is. Let's get, um, nah, I don't want to use the Lincoln repeater on the Scorp because he's armored. Probably won't even hurt him at all. I mean, we could try it once. Yeah, I don't even think we're scratching him. Oh, I love the way that thing loads. That's cool. Uh, is the ant and the scorpion fighting? And the mole rat? Uh, I don't think they are. Alright, well, we can't stay up here forever. Good gravy, I can't believe how hot this area is. Can we get a, another shot on that talon? even know if he's still around or not. God damn it, how many shots does it take to kill that thing? All right, the ant's down. Finally! <laughs> Jeez. Unbelievable. Okay, we're still in danger, so I don't know if it's the mole rat or the talon guy down there. But we're going down. We got to get moving, man. Let's put... Uh, Oh, okay, we already got our combat helmet on. I want to actually go get the Yao Guai meat. 
from these guys over here. We killed a total of three of them over here, right? I think so. There's another scorpion over there. Let's leave the scorpion alone. Uh, he doesn't want to leave us alone. But he's just a little guy. He's nothing compared to that giant scorpion. Oh, man, I can't believe how big that thing was. Fuck off, dude. I don't know where that other Yaogwai went, but let's just go. I thought I saw a robot down here, too. Another one? <sighs> oh, maybe not. Maybe I was just... imagining things. I always want to loot robots because they have scrap electronics. Okay, let's go up this way. I think we still may have a Talon at large. What the f... That's not good. All right, let's stay away from that. Take that, that. I think that's potentially worth a lot of money, but I don't know if we have enough room or weight to carry it. Let's let's pick it up and see if it encumbers us. No, it doesn't. All right, let's look at it. Yeah, my God, that thing's worth 253 caps. We're going to try and hang on to it if we can. I don't know what the hell that is. It's not not right, whatever it is. Uh, I'm not going to loot any of that stuff. I think I'll take the ant meat, though. Take the Yao Guai. Uh, we'll take that and that and those. Yeah, I was afraid that was going to encumber us. Okay, so this is also worth a decent amount of caps. Let's uh Let's get rid of most of this. I'm not sure if I can cook this for something and it's very heavy. Let's get rid of these. Or hell, we could just eat them, I guess. Let's drink a couple of waters, because we need to. H2O2. Okay. So that gets us back to where we can walk again. Okay, I think we let's just get the hell out of here. The, the problem with, uh, you know, when stuff goes weird like that, it can crash the game. It can just cause weird things to happen. So I, 
I want to stay away from it. Is that that ant? No. We already looted the ant. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, I think that's where we're headed up there. Is that... Yeah, pretty much directly east up here. What's that noise? Scorpions and robots fighting. Okay. Let's let them do their thing. It's almost like that thing's following us. We might need to... Oh, not good! Ooh. Oh! God, that scared me. Hey, wait a minute. You're a traitor's Brahmin, aren't you? Where's your traitor at? Ah, that's Wolfgang. Where did he go? I can offload some of this stuff. Uh, who knows, man? Did we finally get rid of that weird thing? I think so. Alright, let's just go. Uh, I'm not going to loot the Yao Guai meat because uh, it's going to be heavy. But it looks like this robot's down over here, so I'd like to get... Uh, see if he's got any scrap electronics on him. No, but he's got scrap metal. That's also very good. Oh, shit! Let's just go. I don't want to waste ammo on those things. Oof, okay. Yeah, that's a transporter guy. Mutants looking at you like their next meal. Slavers okay, let's go into Canterbury and see what's going on. What the? Not while it's under the protection of the mechanist. You and your pathetic tin cans are no match for my army. <laughs> The citizens of this what town the hell? have nothing to fear. The mechanist is here to protect them. Ha! We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his tin toys. Oh, oh shit. Humanity's true power. Face it, mechanist. Humans and their toys are done for. They killed themselves off with their petty wars. Pacifying. Humans may be weak sometimes, but our creations are strong and pure. Something you'll never be. Fool! Humanity's creations were the seeds of their undoing. And now, the world will belong to the antagonizer! Not while the world is protected by me, the Mechanist! Your reign of terror is at an end! Are you alright? I don't you know. Hurt, are you? <laughs> No. I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. 
What the hell was that? Name's Roe. Uncle Roe to most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. Okay. Yeah, what was all that about? The, um, mechanist and the ant agonizer. The ant. That's just what they call themselves. It's ridiculous, I know. <laughs> it's ridiculous. God. Ant agonizer? Really? Oh, man. I've heard everything now. A while ago, we were attacked by the ant agonizer. That woman <laughs> with the ants, obviously. Obviously. The mechanist saved the town with his robots. Okay. Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. Ooh, we don't like that idea. We like merchants. Um, I don't give a damn. Uh, no, uh, how can I help? Oh, that's terrific. I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. What's the deal? Find where the ant agonizer and the mechanist hide and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility and you'll earn 200 caps. <gasps> oh, excuse me. 200 caps? Okay. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. Um. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Great. I'm relieved to know the situation will be quickly resolved. Let me know if I can be of assistance to you. Well, how about a little more oh, information? Please, do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in the streets. We don't need another. Okay. Uh, more information, please. If it'll help, I'm glad to. Superhuman Gambit. Uh, what can you tell me about the Ant Agonizer? Now, one day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town. She said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth. Stuff like that. Well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the ants. She ran away, but every once in a while she'd stage an attack again. <laughs> okay. She wasn't much of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. Gave everyone in town something to talk about. Alrighty. But when the mechanist started fighting her, things got bad. Ants are easy to shoot, but add robots with lasers, and it got real nasty. What can you tell me about the mechanist? The mechanist used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. <laughs> Quiet guy, but plenty fierce with a wrench and some solder. Okay. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town until it got torn up in one of the ant agonizer's lame little attacks. I guess he took it personal because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the Mechanist. Said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Hmm, okay. Now he doesn't even respond to his name, and his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants ever were. Yeah, I could maybe see that. Uh, what else can you tell me? My nephew Derek might know more about them. I swear it's all I can do to keep him from running into the fight whenever they come out. Okay. He might know more about where you can find them, but don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. Gotcha. All right. Um. I most heartily agree. Ask Derek. Okay. Um, what's your repair skill? We used to have a better mechanic, but that didn't work out so well. I'll see what I can do. It's terrible. Okay, never mind. Um, can you trade? You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. They come through every day or two. Okay. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. Gotcha. Uh, what can you tell me about Canterbury Commons? Ha! Damn near everything, I suspect. I found it the place myself, and I'm the reason this place stays fat and happy. Okay. Uh, why do traders come here? Because I asked them to, I suspect. I grew up in these trade caravans, known most of them my whole life. Gotcha. I founded this place with my sister Daisy back in the day. Perfect stop along the caravan circuit. Okay. Uh, how organized are the traders? They're just small caravans that make rounds through the wastes, hawking their wares from Paradise Falls to Rivet City. They won't trade with anyone who's hit their friends, but that's about as organized as they get. Okay. Uh, have you thought about organizing the traders into a unified group? Uh, what is the fuck is that supposed to mean? I had thought about it, but some of these wasteland traders, well, they aren't exactly the organizational type. It'd take a pretty savvy businessman to make it worth their while to work together. Frankly, I'm not sure even I'm up to the task. That's a real shame I have all these caps and nowhere to spend them. Uh, I do? What? This wasn't right. Best to let them stay independent. So are you talking about like kind of forming a co-op or something? Let's see what this does. That that certainly is quite a lot of caps. 
It really would be a shame for those to go to waste, wouldn't it? Okay. I suppose I can call in a few favors with the caravans, talk with them about their inventory. Must keep the customers happy, right? Uh, yeah. So you just let me know what you'd like to see from the caravans, and I'll let them know what to focus on. Okay. Note added. Merchant contract. Caravan merchants. Uh... Talk about weapons? Then you'd be looking for Lucky Harris. Oh, I know Lucky. Adventurer, martial artist, and occasional collector of the most deadly items known to mankind. Okay. He's a bit of an eccentric, but he deals in more weaponry than you can shake a sharp stick at. In fact, he's probably got a sharp stick, too. <laughs> okay. He should expand his inventory? Harris got quite a lot of weapons, but I'm sure he could improve his stock. An investment of 200 caps should see to that nicely. Oh, so you want me to invest in him in order to get more... Okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. We've got enough money for that. Let's invest 200 caps. Excellent. Harith will be delighted. He usually is by most things, really. <laughs> okay. Uh... He should, uh, if I wait, if I click on this, do I have to invest more? If Harith were a less reputable man, I'm sure he could use his armory to collect even more weapons. If he were a less reputable man, what the hell does that mean? But he's a merchant, not a raider, so it's legitimate means only, like a legitimate investment of five hundred caps. Ooh, five hundred caps. Um. Well, we have about 4,000. Well, had. Um, let's just wait and see what the 200 caps does for... Well... Ah, what the hell? It's only money. An investment in weaponry is usually returned in short order, after all. I'll inform Harith. Okay. Just out of curiosity, if we did this a third time... That simply isn't feasible, I'm afraid. Harith's gear already rivals some mercenary armies. Anything further would be asking for trouble. Okay, I don't want him to get himself in trouble. Gotcha. Okay. Sure thing. Um. Okay, so Crow would be the armor guy. Food and Kim's would be Doc Hoff. And Wolfgang would be the miscellaneous guy. Let's go ahead and invest 200 Our man Crow caps. handles most armor. He grew up a tribal, but he traded in his loincloth for much snappier apparel. Okay. It takes a fair amount of capital to expand into higher. Improving Crow's wardrobe would require a one-time investment of... All right, let's invest 200 Excellent. in Crow. I'll send word to... Okay, and then... Sure let's invest 200 in uh, Doc Hoff. Be wanting Doc Hoff. He prescribes everything from a good meal to stim packs to things that'll... Okay. The good doctor's lab equipment isn't cheap. It'll cost... Okay, 200 caps for him. Excellent. I'll send word. Sure. And then let's also invest in Wolfgang. That'd be crazy Wolfgang. He does repairs and general supplies, but he prefers to call himself a junk... As he says, he's overjoyed to assist those who have a deep need for his... <laughs> junk. He's just like that. Says it catches people's... Yeah, right, okay. Uh, can he offer a wider variety of With junk? With an investment of about 200 caps, I'm sure he could improve the quality of his materials. Okay, let's do it. Excellent. Uh, okay, that's it. I'm not, sure thing. <laughs> I'm not invested in anymore right now. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Can I get directions? Glad to Where can I get food? You'll want to talk with Joe Porter over in Dot's Diner. Okay. I don't know who Dot was, but I'm sure Porter's food does her memory proud. <laughs> okay. Uh, where did the... I think he already told us that they set up a, when at the, in, town, in the front of town. The caravan trader yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Enjoy. Uh, I guess that's it. Good luck with those two troublemakers. I'll see what I can do. Nice, we're accepted. We talked to one guy in this town, and we, we've already become accepted. Oh, there goes the... What's his name? Mechanicalist? Okay, hey. Oh, hold on. Let's try something here. Let's put on our jammies and our button wig. Will you talk to me, boot dude? Can't talk now, citizen. Can't talk now, citizen. I must be leaving. He's safe. 
Okay. Are you tired Is there a, of aching legs and feet? There's no merchants out here, man. Are you Tampany Tower? Okay. Megaton. Um, all right, let's go see if we can talk to some more peeps here. Uh, is that the nephew kid? Yeah, it is. Oh, man, did you see it? Did you see it? The antagonizer was all like, fear me. But the mechanist was all, stop, evildoer. Okay. Yeah, I saw it. What can you tell me about him? The antagonizer, she's this evil supervillain who's trying to wipe out humans with her ants. And the mechanist protects us with his robots. Okay. And when they fight in town, it's incredible. There's all these lasers and biting and blood, and it's crazy. Okay. And then my uncle says I need to stay inside. He says it's dangerous. This is serious business, Derek. <sighs> hmm. Um. Those guys must really liven up the place. Anyone ever get hurt? You're insane, kid. Uh. Well, his uncle said not to encourage him. Life around here is pretty hard, huh? Uh, let's kind of play along with him a little bit, but hopefully this doesn't encourage him t to a point where we can't uh, take it back. You think they're neat too, huh? Uh, it's not like they ever hurt anyone. Yeah? Well, not like really badly hurt or anything. Okay. Dom and Machete make sure that everyone gets inside when they fight like that. Though, sometimes I sneak out to watch. The traitors and the slavers and the raiders, they don't like the antagonizer or the mechanist. They say they're bad for business. Okay, I don't like the fact that they're keeping the traitors away, but it's a good thing they're keeping slavers and raiders away. But that's dumb. The ants and the robots rip them to shreds. That shows them. Rip who to shreds? The traitors? I don't like that idea. Okay. Um, what do you know about the antagonizer? You mean the superheroes? Yeah, I'll try to watch all of their fights. What can you tell me about the antagonizer? I don't know much about her except she really, really doesn't like people. That's kind of cool. I mean, sometimes people are jerks. Sometimes they are, yes. I think her lair is somewhere in the caves to the north of the city. North of the I've city, seen her okay. Ants down there once in a while. Gotcha, north of the city. Joe Porter said he found out something about her, but my uncle won't let him tell me. He says, don't encourage the poor boy. Joe Porter, that's the guy at the diner, right? Okay, what can you tell me about the Mechanist? I knew the Mechanist back when he was just a normal hero. He used to be called Scott. Then he fixed up stuff around town. Gotcha, okay. But one day, the antagonizer killed his favorite robot. And I told him he ought to fight back against her like a real superhero. Oh, so you're the one that put that... <laughs> I did his head, kid. Oh, no. All right. Ever since then, he's been up on his forge. In the back of the robot shop on the hill, working to protect us all from the antagonizer. Okay, robot shop on the hill, forge, gotcha. Okay. Uh, know anything else that can help me stop them? No way. Don't stop them. They're awesome. Oh, I mean, no, not stop them. I mean, you know, just help them out a little bit. Unless maybe you're going to be yeah, a superhero that's too. right. I'm going to be a superhero. You could be caught super humongous <laughs> and fight them with an army of super mutants. Yep. That's the plan, kid. Okay, yeah, we'll see what we can do about that. <laughs> God, okay. Well, okay. Um, <clears throat> what can you tell me about the town? It's okay, I guess. I heard it's safer than most places, because the raiders don't bother us. But I've never been anywhere else, so I don't know. Okay. I've never been anywhere else, so I can't really say. But, yeah, it's okay. Gotcha, all right. Um, directions? Uncle Roe and I live in the Old Town Hall, and Mr. Porter runs the diner across the street. It's not really a big place, you know. Okay, no, it really is. Okay. Say hi to the mechanist for uh, me. He, uh, I'll yeah, right. Okay. Let our guard down, sir. That's when people cause trouble. Whew. Okay, let's Ladies, go in here. You calm down. Uh, I'm going to let Derek know about your crush on him. That'll give you something else to think about. What? Um, yes, sir. I mean, Dominic. You have wait. You have a crush on that little boy? What the hell? What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Uh. I, I'm new in town. What is this place? This is Canterbury Commons, where dirty old ledgers get rid of everything they picked up on the road. Unless it's not treatable, that is. <laughs> okay. Says the woman who apparently has a crush on a little boy? And I'm Machete. Dom and me make sure nobody starts anything stupid in town. Keep that in mind. Alright, so you guys okay. are like the law, right? Okay, what do you know about this antagonizer and, and mechanist? I know Dom doesn't want me just killing them. 
He and the mechanist used to be friends or something. Okay. All I know is, next time they come to town, I bet I could solve the whole problem with one bullet for each of them. You probably could. Uh, what can you tell me about Canterbury? This whole place would fall apart if it weren't for Dom and me keeping anyone from causing too much trouble. All right. Fat old Roe may think he runs the place, but it's only because Dom lets the... <coughs> okay. <clears throat> um, I don't think we need directions. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. God. All right. What are, uh, are you, you, you must be this Dom guy. To town, huh? Yep. Well, I'm Dominic Delisadro, and welcome to Canterbury Commons. Try to ignore the idiots in the costumes. Okay. Popular activities around town are trading, listening to row yap, and burying thieves in unmarked graves. Gotcha. Okay, I get the message. Of course, we ran out of thieves to bury long ago. Saw to it myself. Might be a dead art. Unless you're planning on stealing anything. I am not planning on stealing anything, I promise. Uh, yeah, no worries. Sounds like a good plan. Keeps the traders happy that way. And it means Machete and I get to save on ammo. Saving on ammo is important. Uh, what do you know about the antagonizer and the mechanist? Bro hired you to put a stop to their shit, did he? He did, yes. Guess he finally listened when I told him I haven't got the time to do it myself. But isn't that your job? Aren't you like the sheriff? Whatever. Okay. It's easy enough to hide inside when those two square off, but they're only getting worse about it all. Why can't you tell me about Antagonizer? I don't know who she is other than a crazy with an ant suit and a chip on her shoulder for humanity. Okay. She wasn't much trouble by herself, really. Her attacks were a joke, but at least stories of her kept some of the raiders at bay. Yeah, okay. If it helps, she was always attacking from the Warrens up north. Right. Maybe you can find her ant nest in there. I did hear north already. Okay. Uh, what about the mechanist? You mean Scott Walensky? I refuse to call him by that ridiculous name just because his head got a screw loose. Okay. He used to be a damn good friend, and not just because he fixed my guns up. Now he spends all his time up in that bot shop just thinking about fighting that antagonizer. Hardly even recognizes his own name anymore. Hmm, okay. Uh, anything else that you could tell me to help stop them? If you could just make either one of them stop fighting, it'd do the trick. You probably wouldn't have to worry about the other one. Okay. I can't imagine Scott attacking the town with his robots, and that ant agonizer girl was never much more than a sideshow freak by herself. Okay. Ro may prefer that you're thorough, but all I care about is that you get the job done, one way or the other. All right. Uh, enough about that. Fine. What can you tell me about Canterbury Commons? Canterbury's a good town. Ro's done a damned good job setting up the place, and no one can handle the day-to-day -day details like him. Gotcha. Okay. But when it comes to the big stuff, that's when he needs a little help. That's where I come in. Right. What do you mean, big stuff? I think I know, but... Life and death matters. Putting down thieves. Protecting people from raiders who are short-sighted or stupid enough to attack. That right. sort of thing. Gotcha. Okay. Pretty much. Anything the man can't solve by talking at it. And don't misunderstand. He can solve a lot of things that way. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, how did you get this position? I'm about the rarest thing out here in the wastes. A mercenary who lived long enough to retire. Okay. I used to sell my services around here, so it was a natural place to settle down. Not a bad sort of retirement, honestly. Yeah. Alright, gotcha. If you're done asking questions, I'm sure there's something I should be keeping an eye on. Okay, gotcha. Um, thanks I'll for... watching you. Yeah, okay, you can watch me all... Oh, look at that, we're liked already. Damn, okay, are you... Okay, you're Ro. You're, go... you're the other guy, right? Yeah, Joe Porter. Just stumbled into town? He sure picked a fine day for it, with the crazies out there. Here, have a drink on the house. Welcome to Canterbury. Oh, thanks, man. I'm Joe Porter. I make sure folks around here can get a meal when they need it. All right, you gave us some dirty water. Uh, I mean, he probably doesn't have access to pure water anyways. Uh, thanks, Joe. Looks like a pretty nice place. Pretty trusting me. How did you know I'm not here to cause trouble? Unpurified? No. Uh, nice place, dude. We do our best. Well, Dom and Ro do their best. I just make sure they've got enough food so they can keep on doing their best. Gotcha. 
You ever find yourself starving around here, drop by Dot's Diner. We don't charge much, but don't expect any more freebies. I don't, I didn't even expect the first freebie. Okay. Uh, what do you know about Ant Agonizer and Mechanist? You mean apart from having cheesy names? <laughs> right. Actually, I think I might know something useful. All right. What do you know? One of the traders told me she sounded like a girl he used to know. Girl's whole family was wiped out by ants. Not long before she showed up here. Hmm. But they never found any trace of her body. Said her name was Tanya Kristoff. That might just be our little antagonizer. Tanya Kristoff. Hmm. Okay. That was interesting information. Uh, what can you tell me about Canterbury? Best place I ever worked in. And I guess I've worked about everywhere there is. We get some weird types passing through, but it's stable enough for a guy to make an honest living. Okay. I don't really see what more man could ask for. Um, what, uh, yeah, what do you got for sale? Only the best. It's got 271 caps, from nice. The wastes, for what that's worth. Okay, let's, we have a bunch of extra bandages. Let's sell 18 of those. Or two, wow. Those are actually damn valuable. Um, okay, we'll accept that. That leaves him only with 19 caps. Uh, we'll buy, whoa, we'll buy a couple splints from him. Uh, we'll buy a purified water from him. And does he have any Mirelurk? Uh, he has a couple steamed Mirelurks. We'll buy those. Uh, we, he can have our alcohol. And... I want to keep that to see if I can cook it when I get back home. I don't think I can. There we go. Okay, so we helped stimulate the economy. Thanks. Alright, so... Yep. He... Hello, Dom. Everyone behaving themselves? Ernest, I've seen worse nights. But we aren't dead yet, and that's always a good sign. Well, you'll okay. be sure to let us know when we are. Oh, nice. Pony Express box. Okay. I'm going to uh, put some stuff in here really quick. Uh, basically, any ammo uh, that we're not using, and um, we'll, we'll ship back the... Yeah, we'll ship back all of this stuff. And we'll ship back that named weapon that we found. Because I'm not using it at the moment, if I use it at all, and it's just taking up weight. So let me get all this taken care of, and then we'll proceed here. Okay, so um, we lightened up quite a bit by shipping that stuff back. And um, let's look at the quest... Find the mechanist or the an antagonizer and stop their rivalry. Well, we didn't really get... Well, I guess we got some information about the mechanist. But we, we know about the antagonizer. Looks like that's the way we got to go. So let's go see if we can talk to her. And maybe bring up her past life and her real name. Which was Tanya Kristoff, I think it was. And see if we can convince her to stop this madness without any bloodshed. And uh, we'll put on our jammies right before we talk to her, too. You've discovered Ant Agonizer's lair. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get this ready. Because we'll probably have to kill some ants. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so it looks like we're going to have to be watching for mines. I'll take the bandage. Okay. I obviously missed that. We're going to have to really... Oh, man. There's a lot of good stu stuff in here. We need 45 survival to disarm that thing. Well, I don't... Uh, is it done shooting now? Okay. <laughs> it never hit us, so... Yeah, okay. Watch out for traps. Trap 
Traps and mines. Where does this go? Oh wow, look at that. Weapon repair kit. Stealth boy. Guess we'll take the railway spikes. More mines. What? Why put a mine right there? That's a crazy play. Oh shit! I, I didn't mean to do that, obviously. I, I shot forward too fast before I could disarm it. Yeah, let's just pretend that never happened. How fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we'll take all of those. Um, let's splint up our legs and splint up our other leg and splint up our arm. Wow, I can't believe that happened. And all for nothing. Okay. Yeah, for some reason I accidentally like shot forward, not meaning to, and well, there you go. All right. Okay, there's nothing over here. Open door? Oh. All right, one of these deals. I hear an ant. Now we're into a cave. That just comes back through the other way, right? Yeah, looks like it does. Is there something back over here? Ant refuse pile. A soldier ant. Okay, let's go into the lair. I'm gonna do a quick save. It's a damn good thing I did because we just crashed. Alright, let's try this again. She, there she is, right ahead. All right. I don't see any of her minions around. Let's switch to... Naughty Nightwear and Button's Wig for the speech. And I think we'll also take a meeting people.
Oh, we need to read this. Permanent sneak plus two and permanent guns plus two twice. Nice. Uh, yeah, meeting people. Okay, let's put this away. And let's go talk to her and see what happens. So at last, you've penetrated the court of the antagonizer. Queen of all ants! Um, yes, I have. Were you sent by that meddling mechanist? He'll learn that no one can stand before my royal regimen of fighting ants. Uh, no, I was not sent by that meddling mechanist. Explain yourself. Why shouldn't I have my pretties kill you where you stand? Um, your days of terrorizing town are over. Give up and you won't get hurt. Relax, I'm here to help you get rid of that mechanist character. No, because that might start something that I can't back out of. The ants are a joke. Time to die. No, I don't want to kill her. Unless she forces me to. Yeah. Okay, here's the fact of the matter. You need to give up, and I won't hurt you. Or your ants. Unless they try and bite me. Ha ha! You would walk here and presume to command me? Uh, I got a big gun. Humanity's time has come to an end. Your kind died because it knew only petty bickering and wars. But not so, the noble ant. It works with its brethren, knowing only loyalty and duty. And this is why they have grown, while humanity crumbled. Uh, Once I've finished with okay. that pathetic mechanist, I will be free to spread my colonies across the wastes. Okay. Oh, we got a lady killer option. We all make mistakes, but there's still a chance for us. I believe in you. That's to shoot you just a normal human like anyone else. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should join your side. You do realize you're not really an ant, right? Uh, let's try this lady killer and see what happens. You know, there's still a chance for you. You're not completely lost. I believe in you. You're wrong. Humans are cruel, hurtful beasts. Some humans are. They can't are. be saved. We can't be. Not in Entirely the case. I can't. I can't go back. But I can't keep doing this. I can't be as bad as they were. That's right. Not if someone like you believes in me. I believe in you, and I believe you can be a good person. And so can other people. Just not everyone. In fact, most people can't. But some people can't. Please, I think I've made some terrible mistakes. If you really think I still have a chance, just let me go. I think you still have a chance, and I am very willing to let you go, as long as you stop this nonsense. I'll give you the suit. Oh. No one ever has to see the antagonizer again. Just please, let me have another chance. You can have another chance, and I'll take your suit just to prove that it's over. Oh, there you are. Uh, certainly. Good luck in your new life. Now that I have your suit, I'd say you don't have a chance at all time to... No. Hey, the best of luck to you, and you made the right decision. Thank you. I don't know how I can... It's okay, Tanya. Just thank you. Hey, we got karma. Uh, we never... <laughs> She's got a ripper. Uh, we never got a an option to ask her about her real name, Tanya Kristoff, I think it was. Maybe if we would have chose one of those other options, we got it. But hey, we, we got it done. Nice. Can we take the Nuka-Cola? Nice. Okay. Well, that wasn't so hard. It's because of our super jammies. What do we got over here? Ooh, nice. Purified water. Uh, let's take all this old uh, pre-war food and we'll just sell it to what's-his-name at the restaurant. Okay. Hmm. I don't even want to know what happened there. What is this business? I don't know. Okay, here's where she sleeps. Or slept. Uh, scrap electronics and scrap metal. Thank you. I'll take those. She doesn't need them anymore. Uh, I guess she went up this way. Oh, that's locked? Damn it, Jim. All right, I guess we have to go out the long ways. All right, I'll see you guys back in Canterbury for the turn-in. Okay, we're back in Canterbury. Further. The transporters have you covered. 
We have a yeah, we have a trader. Nice, stock off. Looking for that special something? Hey, I invested 200 caps in you, dude. Um, yeah, let's look at your your repair first. Oh, look at that, 100 repair skill. Let's have him repair everything, cause why the hell not? Well, everything that we're keeping, anyways. I mean, what else are we gonna spend our caps on, right? Uh, that. Oh, I never even looked to see what uh, stats are on the ant agonizer business. Um, we don't need to repair the rest of that stuff. Okay. And let's sell. Tell me, tell me what you need, and maybe I've got your fix. Okay. Do you have anything better now that I? See, you should have purified water on you now that I invested in you, bro. Uh. Okay, we'll take the steam Marlurk. Um, Marlurk cakes. That gives a lot of lot of food. But you know what? The thing is, is I've got I can make all that stuff. So I don't really want to buy more of that from him. I don't know. Uh, this seems to suggest we can make something with ant eggs. So we'll have to see what that is. We'll sell those to you. And I think that's it. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Pleasure doing business with you. See you next time you need that special little something. Right. I don't you usually use your special little somethings, plan. but I do like the fact that you have a hundred repair you skill. Very much. Alright, everybody's asleep except for the sheriff. We appreciate you taking care of our town's little problem. Staying oh. out of trouble? You heard about that, Good. huh? Good. Uh. What do you want to know? No, okay. Uh. Okay, is there a place I can sleep here? I don't really want to sleep on a bar stool. I guess we could sleep in that chair. That would be a little, little better than a bar stool. What's in here? Oh, this is Rose House. I wonder if he has like an extra bed we could borrow. Oh, is he still awake? He is. With all of that fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? I don't know if you did. Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? I am here for my reward. Wait, what? Business my so I just to come by out here. What's on tap? Neither. Just wandering through. What? Wait a minute. Don't we get don't we get 200 caps and turn in our reward? Or did we get that automatically? In that case, I'm sure you'll find it was provident. Why, have a talk with any trader in town, and I'm sure you'll find just the thing you didn't even realize you... Oh, here we go. Okay. I just took care of the ant agonizer. There won't be any more fighting in the streets. Excellent. Without her, the mechanist should be on his way, and Canterbury Commons is safe again. Relatively speaking, of course. Right, but just remember, it was the ant agonizer that was keeping the raiders away, so you better keep your uh, police force in tip-top condition. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered. Thank you once again. 200 caps. Hey, look at that. He's a man of his word. Um, Okay. Do you have a place I could just kind of crash for the night? Be back soon and bring more caps. <laughs> okay. He's a businessman at heart. Achievement unlocked. The superhuman gambit. Complete the superhuman gambit. We completed it. You know, we never did talk to that mechanist guy, though. Um, Can I sleep here? Oh. Is, is it all right if I crash on your bed for just a couple hours? Since we're now, you know, buddies Sounds and everything? Okay. safer now. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, man. All right, let's sleep until let's get up at seven. Hi. I'm fine. Um, yes. What's up, Derek? Okay, I guess I'll be going. <laughs> uh, neat. Okay, so now we have a new place that we can come to. Uh, via. Tra uh, fast travel. Hopefully, somebody cleans up these. Oh. Look at that. 
and um, you know, and and meet traders, which is great. Of course, all of these traders also come through Megaton too, and we have a place where we can ship stuff back home, like for example, ant parts that we want to cook up later. Okay. We probably are somewhat thirsty and somewhat hungry. We don't need sleep, though, and we're doing really good on radiation. Limbs aren't in the best of condition. I guess there isn't a doctor in this town, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and chow down on some steamed Meyer Lurk. And we'll also have a purified water or two, and then we should be good. On food and water and, and sleep. Uh, we don't have any ill effects, do we? We don't. Okay. Um, what is what does this ant stuff do? Uh, wait. Okay. One plus one agility minus one charisma. And nothing on the helmet. All right. We'll probably hang on to that stuff just because it's. A novelty? <laughs> uh, I know. You guys... Uh, all right. Y'all want to see me in this, don't you? It'll never happen again. Neil Lucky's here. Flavor. I hear you're my mysterious investor. I am. With your help, I've collected quite a few toys for myself. But what good are toys if they aren't played with? That's right. Um, if I'm your mysterious investor, how did you hear it was me? That kind of breaks the mystery. Anyway. Thanks to you, I have so many, I can hardly play with them all. So, I present to you a prize of the collection. A micro nuke. Enjoy it in safety. A micro nuke. Oh, a mini nuke. Okay. Cool. Uh, what do you got, it's dude? It's my pleasure to offer hot death. In a variety of oh, wow, look at all the flavors. caps he has now, too. Take See, your pick. that made it worth investing just alone. Okay, as usual, we're going to take all of his 308s. Um, and we're going to take all of his 45s. He doesn't have any 45s. All right. Um, we'll take your 420 gauge rounds. High explosive missile, high velocity missile. Okay. Marine Assault. Looks like he has some pretty nice laser weapons. A Rockwell Big Bazooka. Look at that thing. Okay. I, uh, I want to find a combat shotgun refurbished parts. Increases weapon condition. Okay, that would be for a combat... I want to find some cause mods. Desert Eagle Compensator. Oh, he's got a shit ton of mods. Do you have anything for a cause, dude? No, he doesn't. Okay. Uh, Power Fist, Power Fist. Plasma Defender. Laser Rifle stuff. I have some of the stuff I already have. A drum for an H&K MP9. Assault rifle drum. Forged receiver. Increases condition by 33%. Hmm. I'm tempted to buy that just to have it on hand because I don't think I have one. But. Alright. Well, not super impressive, but he's got lots of caps, so that's good. A pleasure doing business um, with and you. And is your repair up to 100 now, too? Easy. It is. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Well, we'll talk Until to you again, we Lucky. Again. Good to Looking see you. To Good to see you, too. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap up this episode. We will pick up right where we left off, and our next port of call is the Temple of, U of the Union. I heard something somewhere along the lines that there might be slavers here. And so because we are now a lawman, 
a regulator. And we don't abide slavery, among other things. Let's go see if we can figure out what's going on there and if necessary, bring some justice to that town. But we'll have to do that in the next episode. And then we'll also hit this. This is our bounty up here. So that is it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.